Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I got a Your Toy Box. This just came in the mail today. I am super pumped. I love this. If you're not familiar, basically you sign up and they go ahead and um, have you fill out a little survey. You have little check boxes on toys you really like and they pick toys from categories of your choosing. But it's always a little bit of a mystery what you can get in here. Your Toy Box does feature retro toys. So they could be like older things like, like He-Man or Power Rangers or old Pokemon toys or whatever. I mean, anything can really go. You can even write in some things and it's not guaranteed they can add it but they do a really good job i have to hand it to them so anyway be sure and check out your toy box and um i should also say that if you like classic toys like the stuff that is featured in here like pokemon figures and stuff i at the end of the year in december here and early january i do a couple of recap videos where people have been wanting to see like hey tuck show your classic pokemon toy collection or show your classic pokemon pvc collection or show your uh anebo collection or whatever if you have a favorite collection you like to just kind of check out what i have or whatever i'd be happy to make a video so let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite like kind of recap video you'd be interested in seeing or you can just email me at tuxtoys at gmail.com is fine too okay i mean i have everything you know my little ponies i i have like everything you can look through my video queue and see the things i collect but i buy a lot of toys actually i don't make videos of too believe it or not so like there's some stuff which if there's something i've never made a video of if you express interest in it i may add it to the list and start kind of ping it in the mix as far as videos that i do and um i can even show some of my my toy collection of those toys that are not in videos so anyway guys um with all that being said, let's go ahead and open up this Your Toy Box and see what we have for this month. Hopefully, December will prove to be a, a cool, nice gift month with some awesome toys. Let's see. I thought I had this cut open a little bit, but maybe not. Okay. Oh, nope. I guess not. People have requested I get, like, a different knife. Um, I have a pocket knife that's really cool, um, but I, I think I want to get something different. Maybe if you guys have something in mind, let me know. But anyway, all right. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, first thing in here, there's usually some packing. As you can see, we'll take that out, throw that to the side. There's probably five to seven toys in here, and they're probably, my guess is probably some Pokemon. Oh man, I'm feeling like lots of things. Um, I don't know if I feel any one big thing or not, but let's see what we have. First thing we have this time around is, oh, check it out, it is a Electro Buzz. Very cool. I am. These guys sometimes send like Chinese knockoff Pokemon, and I'm not as big of a fan of those. I do collect anything cute, so it doesn't have to be like a non-knockoff, but um, sometimes they do that, so I really appreciate when they don't. Now, this one here does say Tommy made in China, okay? So let me know if you think this is legit or not. It does have some other etching back here, which makes me feel like maybe it is real. Um, the quality of the plastic is a little bit weird. Um, the light, the color of it is kind of a lighter yellow than maybe I would expect. Here, take a look at that real close up. Let me know if you think this is real or like a knockoff. I know on eBay you can buy like like a thousand Pokemon for 20 bucks or something, um, but oftentimes they're very cheap plastic and very cheaply painted and made. Um, this one feels a little cheaper to me, um, but I could be wrong. It could just be classic, so I'm not sure, but pretty cool though. I like the stripe and everything. It does have some nice detailing in the tail, low ribbed action in the tail, fingers in the fist. I mean, there's, there's reasons for me to believe this is legit, but I'm just not sure. Let me know what you think. Okay, next up. Oh, he's not gonna stand. <laughs> All right, next up here. Toy number two. Let's see, I try and grab the small ones first if I can. Oh, this one, this, now this looks legit. This is a, a Mudkip. And Mudkip is one of my favorite Pokemon. And Dofus, I had a Mudkip character. Now this here, you see the copyright Nintendo uh, Tommy, that looks very official to me. And this looks like a very nice Pokemon. Look at his cool, mean expression. I love when Pokemon look a little like pissed off or something i don't know i just find it like charming kind of in like a like a almost like a child sense where a child's like a little mad or something it can be kind of cute in a weird way but um anyway this is a very cute looking mudkip he looks like he's a little pissed about something but he's just ready to fight or something i'm not really sure but check out that expression man he is something uh this feels very high quality the paint job is very nice nice little touches in the fins um, nice little touches in the feet. Got the little toes carved out. Little hole, which makes me feel like it's real. Um, I have every reason to believe this is uh, used, but real Pokemon in good condition. So we'll pop this down here. All right, toy number three. Let's see what we got next. Another small one. Okay, this one, uh, this looks pretty good. This is Trico. Um, let's see. Okay, now this one here, we'll take a look at the seal. This looks pretty legit. Nintendo Pokemon Tommy China. Hopefully the camera can see that okay. I would say this one probably is real. Um, has a weird little part here, like it's like sculpted in it, like or the rubber didn't glue right or something, or it didn't bond properly. Um, kind of interesting. Um, looks really cute, loving the paint job, loving the eyes. Okay, he's ready to take on the world in a fighting move 
very cool looking. Um, I think this is legit. I'd say this is a, a cute, real Pokemon. So we'll pop him down there. Next up. All right, we're getting to the bigger things. This is toy number four. All right, wow, this is weird. Okay, Pokemon Catcher. Uh, this is gonna have to go in my retro toy box. I honestly do not know what this is. Uh, let me know if you know what this is. The bag says Pokemon Catcher. Maybe it's a Burger King toy or something or McDonald toy. I'm, I'm not really sure. It does say licensed by Nintendo, Tommy made in China. There's the seal in case you're curious. Hopefully the camera can catch that, see? Um, looks like it does open up. I will have to consult my experts on this one. I'm really not sure. Oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't expect that, okay. All right, so basically it looks like a original Game Boy. You put the Pokemon ball, okay, which does have some artwork on it into the little hole here. And then you're like, see the, you see Mudkip there and you're like, I choose you. And you throw the ball. And that was a very good throw, but um, I do like the springy action and then you can, take your top Pokemon and stick them in there. Maybe originally it was supposed to come with some little toy Pokemon or something, or little balls or something, I don't know. Um, interesting. Um, thanks, I don't have this in my collection, so this will be a good addition to my classic Pokemon toy collection. And if you know what this is from, please let me know, because I'm not entirely sure about this one. So I'm gonna have to research this one further. If I find out, I'll put more information in the comments below. But anyway, let me know. I bet someone out there, Scarlet, someone, uh, someone's gonna know what this is. So, all right, next up. Toy number five. Ooh, we have an action figure. This looks like a spawn figure, okay, which is part of the McFarlane toy line. I do kit like uh, McFarlane toys. They're very detailed, cool action figures. And I'm not like a huge spawn fan. I don't dislike spawn, but I really do like McFarlane toys. And a lot of uh, McFarlane toys are spawn. So very cool. McFarlane does a great job of lots of cool touches, like very spiky looking legs. Look at that. Nice little detail and the paint job on them. Little things like little rivets in the shoes. Looks like he was supposed to come with an accessory. He has a little fist here, um, but there's no accessory in the bag. So with you toy, used toys, you get that sometimes. Uh, two little holes up here, which maybe for like a helmet or a jetpack or something. Not really sure. Uh, this looks like Punisher, I guess, I'm guessing. Uh, if you know what this is, please let me know in the comments below. Um, interesting little aquatic derriere. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be about. Funny, uh, but pretty cool. like the cape. He's looking pretty cool. I am definitely a nice addition to my action figure McFarlane toy collection. So excellent, thank you. Okay, next up, let's see, does he stand? He probably does not stand. Uh, well, he kind of leans. We'll go with that for now. Okay, next up. Next up, whoa, big action figure, man. Check that out. That is crazy. Really cool looking spawn figure here. Um, definitely part of the McFarlane toy line. I can tell from the spikes and everything else. We got some interesting little things here. Like some of these spawn figures have these really cool wings or these McFarlane toy ones. It looks like you're supposed to be able to like push this and have them flap. I don't know if that's, looks like this one here is not working properly maybe, but still a pretty cool collectible. It's cool they can still, you can flutter them, I guess. But I'm very cool figure. Lots of nice detail touches. Look at the the little scary green eye there, and like the the skin kind of ripped away from the skull. Very cool. Got a little skull belt thing going on there. Again, lots of spikes. Nice little job on the rivets. Really cool figure, man. Um, I'd say if anything, these could be a little more detailed. Like if they're going to all the trouble, these are textured, and you can see there's like little grooves on them and stuff. So it's it's kind of cool looking for sure. But um, if they painted this as good as this. That would make this even more awesome. But cool figure. Um, looks like the thing does not work though, which is a little unfortunate, but um, I'll still take it though. It's good for my little action figure collection and I definitely don't have this one. So thank you, very cool. Another spawn. I think there's one thing left in the box. Let's see here. I think there's one thing left. Oh yes, let's check it out. Another, this has been a very action figure heavy box guys. Um, cool Pokemon and some action figures here. Look at this guy, oh my gosh. He is like the world's longest loincloth. I think uh, he's well covered. Uh, no one's seen nothing there, all right? Um, very cool. This looks like this could almost be from Doom or something. Uh, I would say this is definitely a Mark McFarlane uh, toy. It looks like maybe he was supposed to have a gun or something which went into his little uh, leg holster here. Um, really cool, man. I definitely love like zombies and things. So very cool. Looks like his face is kind of ripped away. A little more flesh on this side here. Really cool, like mechanical. I love like games like Doom and the old Quake where they have kind of a lot of like like human slash mechanical interface. Maybe even like Borg on Star Trek or whatever. I've always been a little fascinated with that. Um, in fact, someday, imagine this guys, like smartphones. Imagine someday if they have a way of like hardwiring a smartphone in your head. Would you do that? Like if you had 
instant access to the internet all the time. Like if you're like, how do you spell blank? You could just like look it up without actually using a smartphone. Would you allow them to plant a chip in your head to do that? That is my question for you tonight, okay? Because that could lead to this, okay? <laughs> this scares me a little, uh, but very cool. Like lots of little mechanical cybernetic implants and things into this zombie-like figure. Um, but really nice, man. I like the little touch of the cloth. This, I mean, there's so much detail from like these vein looking things kind of crawling up his boots, you know, to like on the back here, just like veins on the outside. His shirt's all ripped up, looks very thick, lots of mechanical things, air vents, all sorts of things to like in this figure. Lots of great detail touches, but very cool, guys. So, anyway, let me know what your favorite is in the box. Um, we definitely got some really cool action figures. Boop, boop, boop. And of course, this guy here, boop. So, um, let me know what your favorite is. If you know where he's from, let me know. Um, looks like maybe Punisher or something, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so, anyway, probably Spawn, I guess, same as the other ones. Um, but let me know what do you think. And of course, let me know if you think this Pokemon are real or fake, okay? All right, friends. Thank you very much for watching this. Be sure and enter my current giveaway, uh, which is lovingly named the 5700 subscriber giveaway. Um, that'll be running through January 10th, okay? Um, you can say enter me in this video, get your name in the hat for some cool video or some cool video, some cool prizes, including the very hard to get uh, Pokemon 20 uh, Gen 6, okay? So be sure and check out that video for all the details, rules, all that good stuff. And again, be sure and check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, be sure and check out Tux Reviews on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, Gamer Text, my beta channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.